am David the Bruce, and this is part two of Sheena. It, it, uh, it was an early 1950s uh, series on television, therefore black and white, um, starring Irish McCullough. And if you haven't seen our part one, please do go see it because oh, they had some fabulous episodes there. I can't tell you how important Irish McCullough is. I can't tell you how important this series is. The, um, she started out... Um, in life as a model and uh, she um, was quite the model she has a huge uh, stature and she liked uh, athletics she kept in shape and uh, one day she was out on the beach in Malibu and of all things on the Malibu Beach in California she's throwing a spear yes and an agent a movie agent sees that and goes Wow, she's beautiful. She's like a pinup. Well, of course, she was a pinup model. <laughs> and she's athletic. She knows how to throw a spear. Oh, so it wasn't that much longer after that moment in time when she just happened to be on Malibu Beach in California that she was signed to do Sheena. And I got to tell you, for the first half of these uh, episodes, she, sw she was the one swinging from a tree. She was the one, not somebody else, not some stunt person. She was the one swinging through the trees until she hit a tree and <laughs> broke both of her arms. And then they brought in a, a, a guy to do it. Um, but boy, they sure had to find a, a, the right kind of guy because the, her physicality is hard to match on men. It certainly is. <laughs> Anyways. I'll be back to tell you more about her and this series at the, at the start of the next part. But here you go, the next four episodes of Sheena, Queen of the Jungle. Yes! the danger, Rayburn? No, Mr. Kevin, I do not. Now let's stop all this. Bob's our guy, and our safety is his responsibility. A responsibility he wants to pass on to some jungle woman. Well, I only hope we can persuade the Nakuro tribe to let us enter the village. If Sheena can't, Mr. Sergeant, no one can. Eternal! Water. Poison dart. Get into the tent. What is it, Bob? A Rakuru. No, Kevin. Take off me. Get inside. Those darts are poison. Let me go. If you shoot them, kill us.
and the crews aren't murderers, they're frightened. They've seen safaris plunder the lands of other tribes. So unfortunately, those who want to be their friends are put in the same class as their enemies. Do you still want to try to go on, Mr. Sergeant? Well, I don't... Of course we're going on. You think we should, don't you, Charles? I don't see what's to stop us. What do you say, Sheena? Nakuru must decide. I'm going to talk to Kazino, the chief. You wait. All right, Sheena. Give me camera. What for? So which doctor of Nakuru tried to make voodoo for us? Will this do? Jim, stay with Bob. <laughs> permission to go on. What do we do? Then we'll think of another plan. <laughs> Kudula hai wani Taflo yawi hai Ungwala Taflo yawi hai Ungwala indoli Kuli siya? Salala Manakuru vindi Kudula hai wani Ungwala indoli when will she not be back? Not before tonight, that's for sure. I think I'll find Jim and turn him. I'll keep Kobe company a bit longer while I finish my pie. Good night, Mr. Sergeant. Good night. Jim. We're in love and want to get married. You can't mourn his son forever. But as long as I do, I'm Sergeant's only heir. Do you think I get a cent if I marry so soon? Let's just hope that Sheena gets his permission to visit the Nakuru country. Yes, but... I have to go now. You mustn't think I'm getting too friendly with his secretary. Guns. No guns. Akuru say if you come in peace, you not need guns. But we have a day's journey on foot through the jungle. But Gina live in jungle without guns. But what if those savages should turn on us? 
If they should attack, guns wouldn't be of much help. Now, could you give word? No danger. Well, then it's settled. Take only the supplies you can carry in your knapsacks. Ready, Captain? I would be if you get him out of here. Come, Jim. your pack. Photograph the Nakuro tribe for years, Sheena. Thank you for making it possible. by the river tomorrow. After that, we can leave. We haven't much time left, Charles. We can use the gun. They know. We don't have to use the gun. I took these poison darts out of one of the native huts. This is going to be the picture I want. While you're getting it, I'll go and collect our gear. And she didn't look for Jim. This won't take long. Murdering savages, Mr. Raven. 
I don't know what to say, Mr. Sergeant. One of these people took a fancy to Mr. Sergeant's watch and rings and murdered him to get them. No, Nakuru, not steal. Napali Abanda Fapoli Nakuru. What's his excuse? He says Nakuru are honorable people. Where have I heard that before? Anokodai Tavili, I mala lavindi domasai. Man who killed will be found and punished. Nobody leaves village. He certainly doesn't mean us. Kill funny? Kill funny. But why can't we leave? Are we prisoners? We're just what we have been, Mrs. Sergeant. Yes. I've enjoyed the hospitality of the Nakurus long enough. Charles and I are going. Where? To our camp. Do you think you can make it through the jungle without a guide? No, Mr. Rayburn. So that makes us your prisoners too, doesn't it? Man is killed, but lady is not sad. That is wrong. all huts. Willie They found something. Who killed Mr. Sergeant? Let's just say they found your father in law's watch and ring. Trial by fire. The chief lights the vine rope and it burns like a fuse. But if it goes out before it reaches the stake, the person on trial is considered innocent. None of your business. I'm making it my business. You killed Sergeant. No, no, no. I wanted it to souvenir. Stay away from me, Raven.
on, Myra. We're getting out of here. You say we promised no guns. Tell him we didn't know that Kevin had a gun. And tell him that Kevin killed Sergeant. That's not true. Do you don't. Tell them I'm in business, Rayburn. Then get going. I'm not going any place until you turn over that gun and confess. There's nothing to confess. Mrs. Sergeant, they'll kill us all for breaking a promise about the guns unless you tell the truth. Tell Cosino I'll take Kevin and Mrs. Sergeant to be tried in Mombasa if he'll let us go. Wanna amend it? When do Mombasa? Therefore, Mombasa. Kobe! You'd better stop them, Rayburn. Pretty She and a half gun, too. Go, Bob! But what about you? No, they too many. Gun no good. No. I won't leave you to save these two. Then we'll leave you. Too. How could they be? They know they stand, but I don't. We needed Raven or Sheena, but you had to shoot him. Because of something you started, we've got to keep moving. Which way? This way and right.
Rafiki. Thank you. Why should she kill Mr. Sergeant Bob? To inherit his money. People who hurt others never happy. They look for happiness in the wrong way. Where's Jim? Well, say goodbye, Bobby. Gina knows Jim. Gina not laugh. The bearers a break. It isn't possible to reach the Ganyika village before dark. Tired, are they? 
Son, I used to do ten miles of road work every morning before breakfast. Skip rope, shatter box. In fact, I can still set the pace. Son, if you ain't got legs, you ain't got nothing. He should have caught me back in the 30s. I was a lightweight in those days. But they couldn't get a well to wait in the ring with me. Well, you jab, you hook, you dance around, and you dance away from them. Come on, son, give me your best part. Throw one. I got work to do, Mr. Regan. Ah, come on, try and hit me, will you? Aha, you missed me. Come on, son, throw another one at me. It's all right, Cena. We weren't fighting. He tried to hit Bob. Only in fun. Mr. Roddy Regan is the name. Mr. Regan's on his way to the Ganyika country. No fight Ganyikas. Ganyikas always have strong men for chief. That's no lie, sister. Ever hear Tomando? Tomando, yes. Tomando was leader of tribe, but he'd go away. At Roddy Regan's invitation, Tomando, the gun you could kiss. What a fighting machine. I took him out of the jungles and made him a champ. Now he's rich and living like a king. I sure hope I can find another boy down here like him. You Tomando's friend? Best friend he ever had. Sheena shake hands with you now. Set up a tight camp. Gather enough firewood for a bright fire all night. Something wrong, Bob? He's been pilfering at night. Food, blankets, nothing much. But as though we're being followed by someone. You see no one? No. But I know it's not an animal. She no watch tonight. Thank you, Sheena. We'll push on to the Ganyika village in the morning. Well, I hope when we get there, I can find another slugger like Commando. <laughs> no, Jim. Not good. <laughs> Togo Rafiki Kaula, Rafiki Kidogo Regan. Unga, Tongo, Regan. Rafiki Wanamumi Regan, Rafiki Ukuala, Taka Rafiki Regan. Una, Tanga. Bob, who is he? Kaula, leader of the Ganyakas. Kaula, got everything, you spring. Stuff the sport riders love. Kula is heavy. Leader of the Ganyikas comes out of the jungles to avenge Tamando. What do you mean avenge? You know, to get even for Tamando. I thought Tamando was rich, doing great. Sure, sure, he is, but he's retired. I was thinking of the publicity, the build-up for this kid. Get him into big money fast. Taking a nice big slice for yourself, no doubt. And why not? That's the manager's business. You need to tell Kaula you come to make the Ganyikas rich like Tamando. Brother, with... Roddy Regan's guiding hand, you'll come back and buy half of Africa. Tomorrow morning, we leave for the coast, see? Regan. Mr. Regan. Tommy. Commando. Commando follow you halfway around world. 
He shovel coal and big boat to pay way here. You leave Mombasa with Hunter. Demando still follow. Demando, what happened to you? Sheena. Watch him. He's crazy. Punch drunk. Where's he gone? Tommy. You look great. I'll take you back, get you a couple of fights, and you'll be on top again. Tommy fight. Tommy fight you. No, Tommy! No! Don't come closer, I'll shoot! Someone, no! No closer, Tommy! I warn you! You never leave jungle alive. Sanga, Kaninga, Hanga, Ulanga, Ninga, Hinga, Hanga, Unga, Unganga, Hanga, Hinga, Unga. Kawula's making him promise not to kill Regan. Tomando, no promise. Raven, come here. I hired you. You work for me. Whose side are you on anyhow? I'd prefer to be on Tamando's if you can be controlled. You take a native boy and promise him the world. You teach him every dirty fight trick in the book to make sure he's a savage in the ring. You believe that punch on Palooka? Yes, I believe him because a savage fighter is always a big draw, especially when he's getting beaten. But you collect on every punch he takes. And you stick him in some charity hospital and run out on him. Yeah, I'd like to be on Tamando's side. Get me out of here. Back to the coast. I'll pay you anything. What does it mean, Sheena? Tomando asked Kaula to fight. And Kaula? The leader of Ganyikas must fight and win, or make way for new chief. This I've got to see. Hey, look. 
出来了，这里去吧。Demando did you. Demando kill. Hunter to go. Ah, Tomando say you must go. Rayburn. I'll see what I can do. I don't know how, but I've got to get Regan out of here. Go away, Hunter. Go, Hunter. You know the laws, Tamando. Even if you make Regan fight, it'll still be murder. Let the law punish him. I say you go. You want to fight Tamando too? Go. Please, Sheena, talk to Kawula. Maybe the tribe will listen to him. No, Ganyikas will do what Tomando say, even Kawula. Tomando is chief now. I can't let a man die because they think might makes right. Wait on trail. Sheena will save man. How? You trust me. <laughs> Jim, go with Bob. <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> Is forbidden. Tomando is bad, Chief. Tomando not fight woman? No, but Tomando used trick to beat Kawula. Now brave Tomando want to fight small man. Tomando rules. And Tomando rule when tribe is hungry? And Tomando hunt for his people? Yes. Tomando not fit for life in jungle. Tomando get here by stealing food from safari. Tomando will hunt. Sheena takes small man and go into jungle Tomando never can catch. Go! Take Regan into jungle! Tomando hunt. When Tomando find, he kill both. Go! Come quick. Commando hunt! Commando fine! Commando kill! Oh, 
those drums are for hunting. <laughs> so stop. Oh, you got to get me away from them. Wait! How did you manage it? Tomando let us go. To hunt us. Then we'd better get moving. As soon as those drums stop, they'll be coming. No. He's too fat to move back. Where's Tim? <laughs> Take off shoes. Is she crazy? Let's get out of here. Better do what she tells you. I can't go back further through the jungle. That's it. You've got one chance to live and she's it. Make up your mind. Kaulo with me. Go. <laughs> Quiet, Jim. Bob, take man in bushes. I can't run without shoes. No run. Hide in bushes until Tomando pass. You know, what about you? And no catch me. Tomando lead. Stay here. You can't leave me. You work for me. You were supposed to work for Tomando once. If they catch up with Sheena, I'm going to be there. Mando prove he is hunter. Sheena and man go this way. Now this way. Sheena has not moved to Mando. Soon we catch up. Sheena and man. Sheena tricked to Mando. <laughs> you against the Mando? I'll shoot to anyone. Tomando, no, listen. Tomando. Tomando, no, listen. Quiet. Where's Regan? Sheena. Hi, Jim. Sheena. 
Tomando count ten. Like referee standing over Tomando. Sheena, come out. All right, kill Hunter. Tomando, quiet. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Tina here. Oh, Tina, Charlie, Tomando. Run no more. Tomando kill. Tomando bad hunter. Tomando lose game. No. Tomando win. She no right. Tomando miss trail. Miss shots. Tomando not fit for jungle. Bob, Kawula, come to your chief. Tomando will learn again with his people. I told you he was a palooka. Standing there acting like a baby because we won. Son, you got to have it here. Now, I have a strong hunch. Kaula, no! He's got a brave mouth, Rowdy. That's a sure sign of a coward. Well, let the court and the state settle Regan's case, Demando. And I'll make it my business to see that you get full settlement for all your fights. Just get me out of here. I hired you. Goodbye, Tomando. Sheena. Come to <laughs> Poor Jim. Jim get blistered from wearing shoes.
idea of. Let's go back to the state. Back home. Ever since that man in Tanganyika... Tanganyika? I told you to forget about that. We've never been there, understand? I only meant that... Well, please, for my sake, give up this crazy idea before you get in too deep. I didn't come this far just to turn back. I got things to do, and the first thing is to catch up with Trent before he meets his guys. Oh, if you'd only listen for just I'll a minute. I'll get in the truck and keep quiet.
nothing here. Trench camp's about a quarter of a mile ahead. I want to go on foot. You follow in about five minutes. Whoa, don't do anything you might regret. Regret? I got some legitimate business with him. What are you going to do? Nothing. Just trade places with him, that's all. Wanna Bob come with Porter pretty soon now? Thanks, Coco. Wanna send make big trade with Virginia tribe? Much fish? No, Coco, not the Virginia. The Ninomos, further up river. Ninomos no fish. Ninomos rail, civet. This is wild cat, much claws. That's right, Coco. Wanna one trade for civet? One for pet? Wanna get those cracks off? <laughs> No, Coco, I didn't come after you, it. It's a substance that comes from them. Must. Very valuable as a base for fine perfume. Somebody come. Must be Rayburn. Rayburn! I wanted to like my happy little wife. Uba Unga. White giant. Guide your company hired to take you to the Ninomo village. Pleased to meet you. This is my wife. This is Trent. Your company letter didn't mention that your wife would be along. I know, but she don't like it when I leave her alone. See you, honey. the bear I sent to bring you here. Oh, him. I had to let him go. What for? Got stuck in a mud hole and he wouldn't help. Makes a pretty big hole to bog a jeep down. This one doesn't look muddy. I passed the spring about a quarter of a mile back. Washed it off. You picked up quite a lay of dust in a quarter of a mile. Kind of dusty country. He was a circus strongman. 
What are you getting at, Rayburn? I think you know. <laughs> You've been out in the sun too long. Want to see my credentials? Maybe you'd better show them to the police and round Bossy. Shoot yourself. and get those packs. We got business to do in the village. Come on, get those packs! Why you tried to kill Sheena? Why did you try to kill me? She did not do. Then it must have been Rayburn, the guide. Bob not kill anyone. But he was supposed to meet me here, guide me to the Ninomu. Something wrong. Sheena, go find Bob? Please. No, they're the Wajinas. I got no business with them. What are you trying to pull? Nothing. This is the only trail to the Ninomo village. Make up your mind. We hack our way out a new path and we go through the Wajina village. Get going. Come on. Come on, get going. trying to pull. Where are the warriors? The men, I mean. You saw them back at the main river fishing. What are these men tied for? They're criminals awaiting sentence by the next tribal council at the full moon. Those three for stealing. That one, for murder. What would you say to him? I think no. You say you kill man. Over here. 
Quick, that man is wounded. Go get him. You know the way to the Noma village? That's it, no. Good. Then I don't need those bears. Tie him up! Suba! Suba Longa! village with some criminals he turned loose here. Three others. Wooden man back at camp. Good bad. That must be the real Trent. Bull Kendall tried to take his place. Send help to him. Sheena go after Whitman. Well, Sheena, wait for us. No! In no more village. Okay. You better have the boys wipe those marks off their forehead. And you too. I don't think a killer would be welcome around here. Leave it off. You circle around and back of the village. We'll pick you up later. Come on, Rafik. Hurry. I'll stop. Mr. Trent. Afraid a man is late. Where's Hatterman and Barras? They're back on the trail. They rest. Sun been very hot. They are much trade good. You can rest and log his hut. Thank you. Why not please sit down? What is it? What is it? 
Juana. Con Juan de Loque. ¿Y un nani? you deeply enough, Bob. You got to us in time to save Coco's life. Say nothing of mine. I'm glad I could be of help, Mr. Spence. I'm only sorry your trip turned out so badly. After you've rested in Nairobi, perhaps you'll be back. What is it? <laughs> Don't move. Quietly hand me your pistol. Hold it, Rafik. The low movement up. Tie them up. Where's Bull? Where's the whip man? Sheena, glad you're both all right. And thanks to you, young lady. I'll never forgive myself for shooting at you. Sheena understands. It's what you call accident. Thank you. You're very gentle. Did Bull Kendall get away? Yes, in River. This Mamba. Mamba? The crocodile. I'm Frank Trent. What I just heard. I'm frightfully sorry. Tina Starr from Mona Kendall. Or Tim. Tina, forget. Need him to guard bad warriors. We're gonna get him now. <laughs> Jim, drop gun! But gun's loaded!
No chin, too round. This one's good. Leopard man. Go toward Mr. Carver's mind. Come, Tim. kind of a cat. Look, is that all? Well, Alakan, what's the matter with you? You've seen leopards before. Let's get to work. Come on. Sheena. What frightened him? I don't know what hit him. And here, and it seems to have driven him into a frenzy. A leopard. It's made by man, not leopard. Leopard man? Catch him. Great danger. Let's get back to work. Come on, come on. didn't do this. Sheena. So that was Sheena. I always thought she was just a legend. Sheena's no legend. An animal did this, or a leopard man. What do you say? A leopard man? <laughs> Another of those jungle stories. A leopard man. Leopard man very bad. <laughs> Tell me who killed this man. A leopard man. Quiet! Why do leopard men attack your people? I do not know. We are a poor people. We cannot pay tribute. Bob! Sheena! 
I'm sorry about what happened on the trail. Mr. Helper thought you killed that native. Another one has been killed by a leopard man. This is a little too much. We cut a standing in the jungle over a dead man. And now, now wait a minute, Helper. Who this man? A prospector, Sheena. I'm hired out as his guide. What he look for in jungle? Uranium, gold, anything that's worthwhile. I don't like this, Rayburn. Let me handle this, Helper. I know these people and I know Sheena. <laughs> leopard man. Leopard woman, if you ask me. She's wearing the skin of a leopard. How far I told I you. I don't go for this leopard man business. She's up to something and I don't like it. What do you mean? He's got some crazy idea that you're responsible for these killings. Well, what's so crazy about it? We got a practice you right handed. Throw down that spear. Helper, you've gone too far. Back. Tongo. Rani. Get a spear. Fire. <laughs> You let the killer get away. What kind of a man are you trying to shoot a girl? A girl? A savage? She didn't do that, I suppose. No. Have you ever heard of the Society of Leopard Men? Oh, not of your African legends. The Leopard Men started over a hundred years ago in Liberia. A bunch of outlaws, men cast out by their own tribe. In Liberia, the giant leopard is king of the jungle, and to belong to the leopard society, a man first has to prove his fitness by killing a leopard barehanded. He's supposed to get the leopard's strength and cunning. A society of leopard men are sworn to kill, murder, and rob. I've heard this story, but never thought much about it. So many fantastic tales have come out of Africa. Africa is a fantastic continent. Magic box. Yes. Yeah. Magic box. What is in box? Magic. Big magic. The box has wires with an electric battery. It's a machine, Chief Hassel. A machine for finding metal. Uranium. What's that? Sheena. Follow. You won't find Sheena. Not if she doesn't want to be found. Don't think your story's going to protect her. The next time I get a beat on her, I won't miss. Alfred, if you hurt her, you'd better kill me. You're the guide, Raver. Anything you say. Be punished or they kill more. Sheena! Alakan, did you find him? I find him. Dead. Oh, no. oh, no. The leopard men. I was afraid of that. That scared stiff. Yeah. What do you dig here? Uranium ore. What is it? Uranium. A fissionable metal. They they use it to make atom bombs. Bombs? That's not all that uranium is used for. It can heat houses. It can make electricity. It can drive ships, planes, trains, almost anything. Look like stone. Yes, but it's got uranium in it. Watch. Magic box makes tick 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 tick. Like this. This is a Geiger counter. Have you seen one before? Helper. Helper has magic box. Helper? Mark Helper? Is he here in the jungle? He tried to kill me. Why did he want to kill you? Fear him, leopard woman. He think I kill Ala Khan. Helper's not the jungle type. I wonder why he's come out to this forsaken place. Uh, no offense, Sheena. This is your home. All jungle home is Sheena. <laughs> 
sound like a lion to you? No, Simba. Leopard. Put out guards if it'll make you feel better. We cannot fight the leopard men. You can't sit by and let them kill you either. No. Village not good anymore. Tomorrow we move. Because of the leopard men? If a lion attacked one of your people, you'd go out and kill it. This is your home. Defend it. Your people can destroy the leopard men. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, go out and hunt them. I'll help you. Sheena will help you. Carver's uranium. That's what you're after. Right, boy. Josh Carver's got it all to himself. Until now. But with the natives scared away, I think I can take over Josh Carver's uranium mine. But I move my people and we'll open it up and ship out quite a bit of that stuff. But not to America or Europe. You're no more Swiss That's than... right. The Swiss nationality is very convenient. It sounds so neutral. You kill jungle people to get mine. Looks that I'm going to have to kill a few more. George Carver and his native boy, if they haven't been scared off by now. And you two. You can't get away with killing Carver. He's registered his claim in Mombasa. He registered a claim. And he got a permit to take out uranium. But he didn't give the right location of his claim because he didn't want anyone else to cut in on him. I followed him out here. Nobody will know where to look for George Carver if he doesn't show up back at Mombasa. The jungle is a big place. <laughs> Come back here! Not the Geiger counter! 
They will, if they don't want to die with him. Maybe you die. Carver has guns, too. He knows that, Tina. That's why he's holding us as hostages. You're a brave man, aren't you, Helper? I believe in the survival of the fittest. It is an old jungle law, as you will find out as soon as I've taken care of Carver. <laughs> Got my Geiger counter. <laughs> Why, that isn't mine. <laughs> What's the matter? Is Sheena in trouble? <laughs> He wants us to go with him. Come on. and then I'll talk with you. You are no position to make terms. Tell him, Sheena. He has leopard man and gun. Don't trust him, Carver. I don't trust him, Bob. He'll kill us even if I surrender. I'll give you one minute, and I'm going to kill the first hostage. This is your last chance, Carver. Helfer called me one. He hits like a mule. He said something about your claim not being properly registered, is it? No. I knew he'd be after me. I didn't want to make it easy for him. Well, he knows where it is now. He'll have the mom boss and register the right location in his own name. But I've been working the claim. Won't make any difference. Not if he comes back with another gang of leopard men and wipes you out as a claim jumper. He not get to mom boss. Sheena, stop. Wait, Sheena. Come back. He 
She runs out into the leopard men out there. Not the leopard men I'm worried about. It's Helfer and that rifle. He's tried to kill her twice before. Let's get after him. By the river. Helper? We'll see. We know you're here, Helper. Make it easy on yourself. Give up.
Here is the incredible story behind Jungle Queens from Xi to Sheena. At one time, it was an international craze. A jungle queen, and there are several, is a dominant, independent exotic woman who lives in a strange land or time. H. Ryder Haggard called her, she who must be obeyed. Writer Doug Mann observed that the jungle queen looks more like a proto-icon of third-wave feminism than an objectified pinup. The first jungle queen made her debut in 1887 with H. Ryder Haggard's novel She, which was about a 2,000-year-old white beauty named Aisha who rules over a native tribe. He dubbed her She Who Must Be Obeyed. Margaret Atwood, the author of The Handmaid's Tale, said, whatever she might have been thought to signify, its impact upon publication was tremendous. Everyone read it, especially men. Following she, Rima the Jungle Girl was introduced in The Green Mansions, a 1904 novel by W. H. Hudson. Famed actress Audrey Hepburn would later star as Rima in the 1959 Green Mansions movie. Most might think that Tarzan came before the Jungle Queens. Not so. It was a quarter century after she was published that Edgar Rice Burroughs' Tarzan of the Apes was introduced 1 and 1912. Of course, this archetypal feral child raised in the African jungle would become a template for the later jungle queens. It might surprise some to know that Edgar Rice Burroughs wrote a couple of jungle queens books. In 1913 Burroughs published Cave Girl, and in 1929, Jungle Girl. Surprisingly, in 2015, Tarzan's Jane becomes a jungle queen as well in Swords of Sorrow. Unlike other superheroes, like Superman, who appeared in comics before their screen debut, the Jungle Queens appeared in the movies first. Then in the comics. The first Jungle Queen movie screened in 1899. That is 38 years before Jungle Queen comics. A few of those films would include Haggard's 1899 She, The Pillar of Fire, Perils of the Jungle in 1927, The Savage Girl in 1932, and Queen of the Jungle in 1935. In 1937 Sheena was the first Jungle Queen comic. Sheena was the first comic dedicated solely to a female character, a historic milestone. Sheena's name was derived from H.R. Haggard She, but is patterned after Tarzan and was similar to Burroughs's Princess of Mars. Her appearance reflected the then popular pinups. Sheena's popularity gave rise to many imitations. Comic book publishers wanted to cash in on the craze. Suddenly there were titles, like Tegra Jungle Empress, Jan of the Jungle, Princess Pantha, and Tonda White Princess of the Jungle. Just look at all these Jungle Queen comics. It was a major craze. Suddenly Hollywood ramped up Jungle Queen productions. Movies inspired comics and comics inspired films. Media companies and publishers were cashing in. Here is a partial list of the many Jungle Queen movies from the 1940s through the 1960s. And. Then. It. Crashed. Psychologist Dr. Frederick Wortham's 1953 book Seduction of the Innocent blamed comic books for different kinds of maladjustment in young minds. The early 1950s saw a nationwide anti-comics movement. Angry parents and church groups instigated it during a boom in graphic horror comics. By the mid-1950s, nearly 75% of the U.S. comic book publishers had been forced out of business. To survive, the comic book industry began to self-censor, establishing the Comics Code Authority. The code saved the industry, but it didn't help sales. Recovery took years. Generally, throughout the late 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s, Jungle Queen comics were no longer published thanks to the church groups, anti-comic campaign, and the code. Fiction House. That published Sheena was forced out of business by the anti-comic movement. Their last Sheena comic was published in 1953. Sheena, the Jungle Queen, has been accused of being sexist, imperialist, violent, and racist. In his well-researched article, Doug Mann wrote, A primordial rumble in the comic book jungle, Sheena rehabilitated, disagrees and says the charges are mostly unfounded, like imperialism, the evidence for her sexism is weak at best. A fair court of comic book critique will find the post-1940s 
Christina innocent of these two charges and guilty of the third, racism, to a much lesser degree than her accusers have suggested. Case closed. Long live the jungle queen. End quote. Ah, but like with most superheroes, there is always a resurrection. Sheena rose again in a syndicated TV series in 1955-56 with Irish McCalla in the lead role. Sheena was back. In 1956 Leanne, Jungle Goddess hit the screen with a topless 16-year-old Marion Michael as the Jungle Queen. It had two sequels. Betty Blythe, in the 1925 She was topless too. Sheena rose still again 30 years later when Tanya Roberts brought her to the big screen. She rose as still again 15 years later when Jenna Lee Nolan brought her back to television in 2000 to 2002. Like the Jungle comics, Jungle Queen movies had tapered off from the mid-1950s forward. But, she was the queen that has survived best. She returned in 1965, starring Ursula Andress. Followed by The Vengeance of She in 1968, Another She. In 1984, and is still Another She. In 2001. But in other ways, the Jungle Queen lives on. That dominant, independent exotic woman lives on in many of today's movies and comics. Consider The Hunger Games, Tomb Raider, Black Panther, Dora and the Lost City of Gold, and so many others. These are the offspring of the Jungle Queens with that the dominant, independent exotic woman who lives on and always will. We have always needed her. We always will. It is. She. Who. Must. Be. Obeyed.